Man and Soul to Soul. But before we even start, we just want to say that it is brought to you, well, well, the hour between 12 and 1 p.m. is brought to you by Lime Value Every Moment. And to let our listeners know, and our viewers also, um, that we have live inside of our studio, the Uprising Roots Band. And if you look at the pictures, we just want to set the scene for you. You will see that Sister Marcia Griffith's picture is still in the studio because we're still celebrating Marcia. And we can't stop. After that sweet, sweet way we move to start, we don't want to take her out of the studio at all. So, mm. so Marcia, you're still in the studio, pretty up the studio. Everybody come in and laugh, Lord, she pretty. And everybody, <laughs> and everybody have them nice time. So, Marcia, this is my time with you. All right. So before we do anything else, before I even welcome the Uprising Roots Band, me no a kush, so do your thing. Hear, O oh children, the instruction of a father, and give attention that they may gain understanding. For I give thy sound teaching. Do not abandon thy instruction. When I was a son to thy father, tender and the only son in the sight of thy mother, then he taught I and said unto I, Let your heart hold fast thy words, keep thy commandments and live. Acquire wisdom, acquire understanding. Do not forget nor turn away from the words of thy mouth. Do not forsake her, and she will guide the eye. Love wisdom, and wisdom will watch over the eye. The beginning of wisdom, acquire wisdom, and with all your acquiring, get overstanding. Praise wisdom, and wisdom will exalt the eye. She will honor the eye if the eye embrace her. She will place on your head a garland of grace. She will present the eye with a crown of beauty. Heal the eye. Rastafari. Right. That's, 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 so that's the Uprising Roots Band. And this is how them do them thing. This is how them start. See? All right. The Uprising Roots Band members, although you are all individual musicians, uh, and I'm presenting on your own, right? You always have a way of seeming to me like a, you're on a collective mission. See? Because I know each and every one of you are musicians in your own, on, in your own right. So, on this heart, mind, and soul to soul, we're going to be reasoning with the group as a group, and we're going to be reasoning with you collectively, collectively yes, and individually. Yes, See? So, let us begin collectively. Yes, How was the Uprising Roots Band even formed? How did it begin? Yeah, well, I don't know. Um, China Smith came to China Smith, you know. China Smith yard is a yard in a Kingston. We all musicians meet up for that and thing, you know. So as a youth from out of the country still, Christian and Manchester. So my father, Winston Mackinac, said, you know, I want to carry a tone for you. Go know China Smith as a musician because I come for that thing. So as we step in at the yard, me and China um, put on him guitar and say, yeah. And run go in the kitchen and carrot rice and say, see the drummer here, you know where you want, you know, see the bass man here where I look for. And me turn to rice and say, how oh, long may I look for your bridge? You know, where did so how did China know say did I look for them? I don't know. At first, me I see rice in my life at the You see Russell? Yeah, but me just I work with the energy to where me feel and the whole vibration, you know. So after that, I go country and rice, I call me every time. I say, Bridget, come forward, I tell no man, left country and come, come do music, no man, I can't hear you, I make me a suffer, you know, I want you to come in a town. That's all like rice. Yeah. Who <laughs> <laughs> want come and put the thing together, you know? So I just pack up one day and go forward, I put more over my mother, you know, Sandra Smith. And then I meet Akim. In our band over there in our Portmore, now we start and then the vibration together we just say we have to keep it in a forward. And then we meet Junior forward at uh, uh, Portmore, we see my walk with him drum. So I say, no, so we have a band, a band where we want to come together if they would have interested themselves, you know, and go down forward. So where did I get the notion that it, it, it was risen up out of the Eastern Kingston? Where yeah, did that come in? That is the base, really. Okay, we can. Yeah, you know, through the movements, we're at um, Sugar Miner too, during one of the movements, you know. So the management, Darren Hamilton, came on board, you know. After we formulated the band and said, yeah, we moved through, you know, we started accompanying, like, Egyptian and other artists, you know. So we moved to East Kingston about 2006, 2007, you know, it's about seven years now. 
And it's a, it's a home for Iron Eye, you know? There we had our Iron Eye studio. Skyfire right. came out of there, you know? Right, right, right. So nice. Right. Okay, great. All right. Um, let us introduce the band personally now, because I want our listeners and our viewers to know that, like I said before, each of these individuals are individuals in their own right and also collectively. But I thought there was a lady in the band. I thought there was a sister in the band. So where's she there? Kimmy Gold. Where Kimmy there? <laughs> she didn't fall. She didn't fall in? Oh, no, she's okay. here. She's here. Okay, all right. But, but Kimmy is the person who is in the band, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let, let's just start by introducing... Kush, you know what I'm trying for nobody? Kush, Patarais, and then, well, I had Kimmy. Yeah, yeah, I realize. Don't worry about that. Everyone got. Everyone got into the same set. All right, go on. Do the thing. Oh, oh, my darling. Let me just take a break and then when we come forward, we do this. Okay. But Kush, are you around? Are you a producer, you know, Kush? You never know. <laughs> All right. Love. Okay, welcome forward to Heart, Mind, and Soul to Soul. It is now 12.36, and the are between 12 and 1 p.m. on Thursday brought to you by Lime Value Every Moment. So we have live inside of the studio, the Uprising Roots Band, and we're right inside of introducing the band members now. Not just name and, and, and um, telephone number, but also the instrument you play and a little bit about your background. Well, bless and love to the world, you know. Because we know up, um, IRA listeners of what the world, you know. So this is Jonah Congo from the Uprising Roots, play a percussion for the band, you know. Mm-hmm. Blessed love. And how long you been in the band? Well, we could have said forever since, you know, okay, from start. time and date. But okay. it's from that disp- dispensation to this one. Right, right. Yeah, that's right. why we kind of keep ourselves together, you know. Beautiful. All Blessed. right, next. <laughs> Yes, I'm Russian Black Kush mm-hmm. Makanov. <laughs> <laughs> Mama have good plans. <laughs> yes, go on, Kush. Yes, I. Yeah, lead singer and drummer of the Uprising Roots, you know. Well, I was born in Christiana, Manchester, you know. Grew up in East Kingston, Rockford, Sherton Road. Leave from there to Mangustown and from Mangustown, you know back to the country and into Portmore. So it's a rounded thing, you know? Right. And give thanks for life experience. But don't, don't, we never done with you. Right. What about the, you, your family members who are part of the, the whole music industry? There's yeah. no way you can introduce yourself <laughs> and not tell nobody it's an electric jet son. <laughs> yeah, big up the, the, the master, man, you know, Winston Makanoff, you know, Matthew Makanoff that passed, um, and little brother, you know, he had a number one in France. You know, Ishmael Makanoff and Nada Harris Makanoff, you know? Right. Dave Makanoff. It's a musical family. And then your Uncle Appa. Ap- well, Uncle Appa, yes. I know him as Appa, but yes. Appa play a drum. You know yeah, him as man. a great drummer. Yeah, man. He's in mean, England or England right. University. So, bless up Appa. Yes, All man. Right. Rastafari. All right. Your time now. The point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. You know, um, Lloyd Palmer, that's what mother named me, you know? Um, I chose a name, Akin Sanya, you know, a name for look like we sell it, you know, African name. Yeah, Saint Anne Barn, but grew up in Taptrelan, you know. You say light enough with you. <laughs> <laughs> At times, you know, <laughs> officially. But you know, um, yeah, we grew up in Taptrelan, you know, attend like William Nib High School, you know, formative. That's where we learn like, you know, the theory of music, you know, mm-hmm. and the performing arts, you know. But through urban migration now in a town for the past 20 years, you know. Yeah. Trad hills and valley, but you know, city is where it's at, you know. Right. We're not finished yet, Akim. The poetry, how that came about? Ah, the poetry. You know, we, we used to love listening to poetry, you know, when we were young and grew up. Um, Mota and Oko was there, you know. Mm-hmm. So we used to listen to it a lot, you know. And it played an influence on I and I, you know. So when we tried out of school, we say we are pursue like, you know, the performing arts, you know, the Rastafari, and it's a medium to express, you know, yourself. So we just embrace it and love it, you know. And, and, and for those who don't know, <coughs> it is now included in the, in the sound of mm-hmm, the uprising. uprising. Yes, Roots Band. Yeah, because there was a time in the 90s, you know, when I come forth, you know, it was drum machine in time then, you know. I wanted an organic, organic sound, you know. So I search for that sound and I couldn't really find it. When I go to some producer, they might tell you, say, like a DJ, they might deal with it, you know. The, the, the music was synthetic, you know. 
So we said we know the theory from school, because you know most schools are exposed to Melodica and the recorder. So to me know the theory, you know, I come across a brother named Wuss, so of the Wuss band, tell him of I and I interest. And we started from this, so you know. Okay. So, you know. All right, you'll put a rice waiting patiently. Before you start, put a rice. Oh, you get a name, the Virgin? School. Wait, you love it. is um, comprehensive high school. You love eat rice. I love eat rice, but I never get a name because I love eat rice still. What is what? No, we just in the class and the, 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 you know, the most troublemaker said, Yeah, the girl, them sugar. Yeah, the girl, them this, yeah, the girl, that. So when you turn to me, them just said, Yeah, the girl, them pot of rice. Uh-huh. You know, I ran in a neighborhood. Yeah, so I leave from town, reach back in a King West and, and tell my bridging, they say, The man, them come and pot of rice to them. I bridging just sadly, you know, say, Eh, and just pot of rice from so ever since. Yeah, just stick. From, from school days. From school days. All right, let's talk about pot of rice now. Ruel, Eichel, Ashburn, Babai. A muddy people here, me having a version. Yeah, you don't know that. <laughs> Royal Eichel, Ashburn, Babai, Patarise. <laughs> so we born at Kingston Jubilee Hospital. Group of four spring gully. Up a man in Zill. Raspido, our godfather. Raspido. Raspido. The poet. Yeah, Raspido. Yes, Raspido, yes. the founder of Rastafari. Raspido is a great poet. <laughs> yes, yeah. Can yeah. sit still. Of yeah. Yeah, yeah man. So him name is Royal Eichel Ashburn. Really? Yeah, Raspido. Okay. So big up all the man in Zill massive right, right. now. I hear this. And um, from man in Zill to King Western, from Mr. Fitz the church, you know. And called Mount Carmel Apostolic Baptist Church. Me grew up at the church here yeah, because the tender age, you know, the music take on to I. And I love music from my you know, self have sense, you know. So at the age around 10, no, 11 plus, I have to make a decision of my life seriously because the type of company I keep at the age of 11 plus, I have to look seriously in my life and say, no, I want something out of life, you know, at that tender age. And I moved from First Spring Gully and go to King Western Church at a convention with my grandmother. Take me to one. Tell about, us about your grandmother because she's so. It's a revival church. The revival Tell church. Tell me about that. Yeah, yeah. The revival church. That nice vibration. in that, that vineyard, and up at the church. Yeah, it's a churchyard of houses. You know where you have women spent um of them quarters and man of them quarters, but we still mix and mingle. You know, and you have elders and youngsters. You know, that other man they love him youth, them, you know, Mr. Fitz love you, you know, so he take in every youth from all about you go through your distress, him take you in and feed your time, you know, mm-hmm. in, in table. So it's a nice vibration in King Western Church and it, 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 it's a good because it, 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 it brought me up strict, you know. You know, you have to wear the shirt in your pants in the churchyard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you mm-hmm. can't go on a little way, you know, you have to walk in line. Mm-hmm. And the, 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 I was saying to somebody where they said, I don't a long time I see the woman them wear tall slip and short slip. When I go to church and Yes, yeah, sleep. Nobody knows where you sleep again. No, no well, this is good now. <laughs> when me I go to church, yes, my yes. church, oh, you have to wear, the woman have to wear, tall sleep okay. and short sleep. Me Together? Yeah, different from um, stocking and them thing there. Why them supposed to do that? No, hard? my, my, my grandmother in a ramp and a full white them in a yeah. full white and them wrap them in a white and all them okay, thing Okay, revival, so, revival. Revival church, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, come man. out of revival. Yeah, vibe. Nice, me that nice, nice. youth from Rastafari, which is Raspido. Yes. And then the revival. You know, it's a very strong grandmother. link, though. I know that. Ah. But I humble with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Nice. Yeah, man. All right, beautiful. You know something? It's at this point here now that we know the four man them. We want to hear something. I know that you're very prepared and yeah. perhaps you even want to sing more or no one talk. <laughs> but I'm not going to talk and sing. Yeah. So let us do something. Let's some get something live from the Uprising Roots Band.
whose name I and I don't call. Don't you feel small? In reggae music, you stand tall. Uh-uh. Watching, you should be watching. <laughs> oh, no, should I never RFM.net? You know what I love about just watching you? The communication. We can just feel the yes. telepathic communication <laughs> happening between the items. Every now and then a man touch the next man from him knee. Oh, that's sweet. All right, we're going to take a commercial break because we don't want anything break the our next conversation. So we're going to take, before we take a commercial break, we just want to remind our listeners that they are between 12 and no break. With, or between 12 and 1 p.m., you take off all of the commercial, them wonderful shade. That's why me, I love you. The, or between 12 and 1 p.m. on Thursdays, brought to you by Lime Value Every Moment. All right. So, let me ask you this. Because while watching you a while ago, I realized that you all bring not just one thing to the table. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you, let me ask Akin this. You, 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 you're doing the dub poetry on the one hand, mm-hmm. and then you're playing the keyboards on the other. Mm-hmm. When you're on stage... How, how, how you work out that? Is it complicated? How you do that? Yeah, man, it's, it's very simple, you know, because you practice and you rehearse, you know? Right. So practice become permanent and perfect, you know? Right. So we know the poetry from them time there, you know? So we just add, you know, the plain to it, you know? You make it be fun, as you say, you know? Normally, the mic would have to understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, we have to set up the right props, you know? Right, you have your, right. you know, your microphone well mic'd up properly. Right. Maybe it's three or four keyboards that you want it, you know? Right, right. And you just work so that things. leave you in more space. Yeah, man. All right, you know Patrick, Patrick Rice. Here, what I want to ask you now. You, you also, in, you're an engineer also, right? Yes, ma'am. That means that when you go up on stage now, you have your guitar fitting, what, the vice in fitting, what? No, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> um, get it clear. Um, yeah. On stage, I don't really worry about the song because what I do, I put people in place because I can't engineer while I play. Oh, okay, that know? clarifies yeah. that. And you know, Kush play on the drum, which you're going, to, you're going to ask him about that too. Right. Kush is a chop set, so now we're playing acoustic, but when we cook up as a band, right. Kush play the chop set and sing he's a lead singer and akim you know right. so i know he's a showman basically because cannot move as right. a lead singer right. up front so i'm the man now who if you know the people are still remind them of Derek barnett yeah so i'm gonna i'm, I'm pleased to meet him in new york yeah. Derek is a mad one yes yeah, so everybody <laughs> said why you remind me of Derek barnett you know enough bass man i look up to all but those bass always have that little energy they pan him yeah be, when a bass just start up and play kind of became boring, boring man, no matter true. how bad it is come back up and bass you can really play mama but then just do and know you know in other vibes Unless I listen to notes, I know everybody listen to notes. People want to watch action. Too. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I got interview people. So to me, say, you know, the last time I saw that, you're not known as because so much movements are going on. I don't see movements. Me, I say, me, oh, yeah, we have no. a balance it. <laughs> yeah, you understand me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, I'm the man who always up from. I just say, I'm the engineer. I'm the sound engineer in the studio for the band. Oh. Okay. I make sure, say, gotcha. when we go to studio, May I hear the thing them right and then I over process the thing them and all them thing in the I studio. I mean, another thing. BV. Oh, what, wait, oh, is back what? In vocal. Oh, back. Oh, all right. Fine. Yeah, if you come to a test, I do clear that too, you know. Right. Because sometimes I go through there with the band and, you know, maybe some a, a, a certain backing vocal like giving you the sound and you know you can do it. So why not? Let's right. go do it, you right, know. Right, right. Yeah, so I mean, that I look like everything. Right. You know? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, man. So you bring a little like, ready. You, 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 you see you looking at me. I'm glad. Guys, your time now. So let me ask you this now, Kush. 
Yes, okay. Me know so the drum. Well, this particular drum that you're playing here now. Yeah. We know so it's like a. How should I put? It's a spiritual instrument. Yeah, we get this energy from Unclapper. You talk about this drum, particularly. Mm. You know, not the plug-in one. Yeah. Well, yeah. you don't know the drum is the first sound of creation. You know. You know, one, two, other, the highest order. You know, we go higher than any instrument and them Right. Through the soul beat. So, um, I have two uncles who play drum. I have an uncle on my father's side that play the trap set. That is Dave Makaroffin. Right. See? And Uncle Appa, Anthony Wilson. Appa is not a Makaroff? No, he's a Wilson. He's by my mother's side. Yeah, I mean, I say, I don't know. Okay, so you so on both sides you have it? <laughs> yes. Right. So, and then you're also lead vocalist? Yes. All right. Talk, tell me, go on talk about the drum. Yeah, so, you know, um, I see my uncle, he, he built the band called Aquaba Drummers. And he gave some of the youth them in a Kingston drum and strength. So, so while he might teach youth, them always have drum class in a Kingston and over school and music. I always go with him. And me while he might train him to him, give me a little drum and say, steer so, and, and follow me on them and them things. So I truly bring me. So what I do, in other time, I study Count Hazzy. Naya Bingi, Bobo Hill. <coughs> you understand? So I go through all John and the drum. And then we studied the African German, so you know, well rounded. Well, yours I can easily understand because you 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 singing t to the drums is even more is even to me more spiritual, yes. in the sense that there's no complication, there's no there's no competition at mm -hmm. all. So I get that. All right, let us go to the the percussionist now, yes. right? You yeah, only play it. percussion. Yes, and you know, um, I'm only more sometimes. Uh. What when I, when I think of a percussionist, right? Yes. To be honest with you, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but but um, I immediately think of Bunga Roman Shimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of the sound, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you um, express yourself in such creative ways, or is it only just a drum you would deal with? Man, I'll pot cover man and empty me, man. And all right. I'll pot cover and empty me stuff. Right. You know? Spoon and fork and all of these things they experiment with. Same way. So, you know? The vibes. Go on top, man. Yeah, man, it's a vibes, man. All of these things they experiment with, you know? You know? All right, cool. All right, so that's that. Our oh, time now, assume cash part time. <laughs> so you cash, I mean, cover why? Sorry about that, that little break. But cover, all right, as a precautionist, if I was a precautionist, right? Especially if I grew up, to be honest, if, especially if I did grow up, I see Bunga Herman with that chimney. In mm. my mind, me that say, hey, me, me outdo him. Me, 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 not in a negative way, no yeah, matter, yeah, right? Just in a reason. fun way, yeah, right? Yeah. Because me da come up with something way out to. Me don't know what that me I said to. Me don't know pat cover. All right. Me da say pat cover yeah. And eh? <laughs> no. But does your mind work that way as a as a precautionist? Yes, man. And, yes, and tell man. me some of the crazy things that you've thought about bringing on stage. Well, I'll, apart I'll from pat cover, all the different type of what I call it now. Mm, so much of them for really run telling all right you know, but we don't really care. Cause sometimes we care we, we don't want to carry all a waiter, but that give me all a gang sound. You know? A what? A gang. A, a great a, a tree. Okay. Okay. Just be natural. Right. Yeah, a silver one, you know, give a right. gang sound. That give me use all a comb. Right. You know, for a long time we have them comb there with um plastic bag on it and make all sound like a sound. Are you afraid of the comb now? No, I'm not afraid of the comb. <laughs> You're still good in the comb. Yeah, yeah man, you mean see me because that's natural, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, what about all greater? Yes, we use them greater too, man. Greater Gangwa, don't you? Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. man vibe slap and cover sand. Right, and right. And tambourine and kind of stuff. Right, use beautiful. Because yeah. each, each of them sound they give a different feeling, yes. see? Yes. Yeah. All right, so, cool. Yeah. We want to talk about the fire. But I'm not sure if we have enough time. But we could just start, all right? So we're going to talk about the fire first. And I'm going to ask the man them if, if your experience with the fire, after everything we're going to tell you, if we're going to experience that fire is indeed purification. And if we're going to witness any form of purification after the fire. So let's just start talking about the fire and how that happened and how it impacted on the band. Anyone? 
Yes, Mama. First and foremost, when we moved to Rockford, Rockford was a troubled community. Very troubled community. You know, at the first maybe I hear so much gunshot busting in my life. Serious thing. And I watch this. You know, I watch the whole movements. And what I see, I notice when uprising reach Rockford, after, shortly after, the whole vibe that Rockford changed, the whole entire vibes. And then Kush light a fire. Kush on the powerful bridge, you know, not because we hear a serious thing. And these things I watch and see, this is experience, right? Kush light a fire in the yard. I burned for 300 and how much days, Kush? 300 and much? And 75. 375, something like that. No, no, this is not no fire with no pampas on them someday night, you know, and a rubbish and a plastic bag and a bag juice bag. This is fire where man get up and go look proper lumber. Right. Proper lumber. Man right. go lumber and them something there. And carry in him car. Enough man have a dirt, you know, carry that up and leather seat him while leather seat in him car. Car and pay a police stop him and say, you have to take out them something with your car and them things. What are you going to do with them something there? We have a yell for her, you know, no, we have to have left them something on the road, you understand? Yeah. yeah. So, we burn them fire down, we see the whole rock for transform. Now, people walk up and down. I mean, I watch this and I watch the whole vibe and I say, this look interesting. Anyway, we have the studio and we are going. The studio are going to go to make a whole heap of production of the studio. Prince Hala and um, Fred Lux. I'm sure you can start calling him. So much production. Yeah, Luciana. Whole of people pass through. Whole of production. So, we we'll get ready now to come dominate this reggae vibration you now with music, you know. But all this time, uprising never make a step for self. For example, when I make this album, I say, all right, when the artists go out there, we'll get the opportunity to tour them. We see that we've done certain people album, then go up on the road, we don't go up on the road. So I say, no, man, that, this is not our work. If we'll start something for ourselves. I know that Kush would be the perfect one out of all of the four core members to sing. We we're searching for a lead singer, we we'll never have no luck. So how oh, I know Kush can sing, Kush used to tour Jamison. And him always sing Jamisa song, them slung and chant Jamisa. I say, yeah, man, that vibe there. I say, Kush, I can't do it, you know. Show me play the chap set to me. No, say, easy to play the chap set and sing and them thing there. So we fight now, right away, long story short, we get a album for itself, Skyfire. What month really is Skyfire again? In 2011? To March. And the studio burned down by June. How you, how you say that? How you interpret that? Yeah, because man said, but look at that. Look at most through the bond and I wanna get nothing out of it. Now this the Skyfire album is Uprising Revolution, you know. This is what I could say right now, attack. Cause this Skyfire album changed your life, you know, for the betterment. And it burned down. And funny enough, like a couple of days before it burned down, all of us they are sent to us. I want a place called Beacon Hill. If I run two weeks, I will have vibes. From this the beat the bat to the beacon hill. Yeah, remember that point. See? Yeah, yeah, man. All right, everyone, remember that point. We're going to take a break now, right? And it's it's one o'clock now, so we're going to take a break. And when we come forward, we're going to talk about that fire. Very. Yeah, man, give thanks to the power within. Who's band? And we're talking about the fire because for those who didn't hear, the uprising roots band had a fire at their base, and the fire destroyed quite a bit. So, Pato Rice was yeah, telling man. us about the fire. Go ahead, Pato yes, Rice. Yes, man. So I said no. We was in Beacon Hill for like two weeks before the fire. Yeah. And the fire never took place that time. The fire wait till we come from Beacon Hill. So upright, I tell you, upright, you know, yard is like a vineyard. We have a people come all about come eat food, right? Yes, so all have vibes, so the biggest are star coming out. So we come from St. Thomas, come in. And today, um, we decided to rehearse one day. And in the midst of rehearsing, in the middle of the yard. Me, me, me can't remember smelling something and I said, what is that? But through them burn so much rubbish all the while at Rockford. You know, me, I said, maybe somebody had burned some plastic or something. Hunger for no, I said, I don't to catch a fire and we out there. No, no. So our sister now sit down at the front with her baby named Feli and Feli said, boy, fire, fire. She said the fire and then by the time we said that, I just, this fire and everybody just panic and thing anyway. So the fire start in the studio? No, the fire start in the room. In the room? Okay. No, no, in the room and it spread and me now panic. Most people try to out the fire. Me now, I focus to take out the thing out of the studio. But, um, kind of panic. First my experience of fire, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, we decided to start. My sister said, see, this is not going to save now, so I better try to do something. I said, alright, I can move to the computer, I'll get out the computer. To get out, you know, I never get out much stuff though. I never get, get out two speakers, a computer and stuff. And most of the stuff then burn up. But 
I can't remember in the last part. It's like we carry the stuff them outside, you know, so people look for loads at the same time. So I have to make sure that so I put on stuff. We have people who are, you know, so you know, the, the, the most fastest moment you have to slow it down for make sure that so even though I take out stuff, you have these things saving and people right. are taking go with. Right. So um, oh. I remember the last round of me, because me one, basically, everybody that tried to out the fire or take out something that I have the house, basically, me one that tried to take out out of the studio. You know, when the fire basically done the body, I said, Rice, you save us through them, so we save us through them, no one. You know, so we could run to this first, you know? Anyway, one of my memory mo- memory moments in that fire, I when I look on the fire blaze up now, I said to the people I'm outside, I said, Look here, you know, hi, when well, go back to the studio for the hard drive them with the work, you know? And I said, Watch this now. You know, watch my back. Anything you know, see, I go on, I go on, I call me. But in the studio, with the light lock off, you can see, and the smoke, terrible. So I go in and lie down for my belly now and know exactly where the hard drive them, the three hard drive. I take out one already with the bar, much stuff. I go for the one and I load loaded now. And I can't remember in the darkness. I reach, no less than a inch away from the hard drive them. I basically reach there. But the darkness, I don't touch you them. Yet. Two. Yeah? You take one already, you get one already. You get one already, already but nothing much of the pond that is a new hard drive mind you care for back up the stuff them, you know? Like a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, reach up. I lie down on Billy and I say, yeah, the hard drive them say, right this so, you know? I'm going to hear like a choir outside. I call me, rise, rise, like a whole choir outside. That's time the fire done or the fire still ablaze? The fire ablaze, man. Just so, about reaching the climax side. The fire so blaze crazy, the man. Man. the whole of rock fort. So they must say, rise, rise, come out of the studio. Yeah, because they know, because I remember I go inside of the studio the last round now, I said, boy, we can't take out nothing else now. So all I can do now, make the mixer board burn up and all them something, they all of them burn up in there. I got to try to save the hard drive. Them you never get the hard drive. Work. Mama, I said, they're like less than an inch away. Oh, no. Forget the hard drive them. I hear a choir outside, I call my name. I've never heard that before. No, I like, watch stage show, yeah. <laughs> but why not? Choir outside and people ball murder. Murder, rise, Jesus Christ, rise, rise. Look at them free, say you're born up in Some there. Some of me hear that, me I say, no man, I wear them people, I see out the door, me I go show you, me come out. So me yes. not bother, me just ropes and let go and fly the door and come up. But when I come up, I realize me could have taken them out still. But no, really, when you come out, you realize you could have born up. Could have born up too. <laughs> <laughs> True. So, okay, what was your experience? Because every, you see, you see, in a life, you know, it's a fire now, art, a fire go on. Everyone have a different experience of the fire now. What was your experience of the fire? Hmm. Um, when we get the shout, we're playing. I remember exactly we're playing Blessings. And I just don't play the solo. And we're going back to the punchline, you know? So, me use that, that, that song there, you know? And say, you know? No matter, no life, no take. So, it's a blessing. You, you, see, know? you see, you see that? You see that? You have to remember, that's why I say mm-hmm. everyone have a different experience of every experience. Mm-hmm. Because in your mind, in your mind, you say you could have taken your drive. You could have get it, mama. You could have get it next hard drive. You know your experience, you feel like say what? A blessing in disguise or what? How did you interpret the song being played at that time? Well, out of every tragedy, you know, there must be a good. So we have to search for the bless. I don't like that word where they say blessings, you know, but we use it for the overstanding, you know. So As we a take word, it, man. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So we take it, you know, we take it at heart and say, yeah, man, that's strength to strength, you know. Right. And if we, are, if we get tear down to the bottom or the barrel or where you're there, the only place you can go is you now is hope. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. optimistic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hear you. Kush, what was your experience of the fire? Yeah, well, when we see that we lose the student, you know, the place gets up enough. Uh, tears come in my eyes, you know. Because we know that we will come together as a team. I know we are moving, we will have forward. So, me while the tears are coming, because means I use, me listen to the voice where, where they would deny mm-hmm. deep, you know. Mm-hmm. And me hear the see the voice come and say, Bridget, so we are crying for, and you know, I do no wrongs and them things. You understand what I mean? And then me just start wow. smiling. Wow. You understand? And I just say, all right, you know, I just move with everything. So after the, the house burned down, because we, we did have everything, everything we have. And now we lose everything. So then me hear the voice come now and say, all right, no, we did give in everything now, you know. So the test is now without nothing. 
So the night when the studio burned down, because when a place burned down, you have to move out because you still have some liquor smoke on them things. I tell the ones them say, yo, you know, say, I can't go to Manchester, right? If you go to Tavern, if I can go to Chilani, Juna, go Santa, the banner go mash up. So we have to steer. So, so Raging Fire was the first banner, and Carries and Jana and him come forward with a tent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so we just um, sweep out the debris and them thing and set up the first tent mm -hmm. and the whole of us stay there. And, you know, we, so we live in the fire, like fire. Mm -hmm. And then after that, um, we live in a tree, like for a year. I live in a what? In a tree. In a tree? Yeah, man. Who live in a tree? Me, me time, I'm my up in the top of the tree, a guinea tree. Really? Yeah, so man. On, on the same premises? Yeah, man, on the same premises, okay. man. Because my daughter did, did come with me and my son go to school. So mm -hmm. me have a living in my car too. And I do everything. You understand? Yeah, man. In a tree and the yeah, time we just move. Because yeah, man. a real thing. You see me, I say, mama? Yeah, man. And we have places, we all have places where we go and go, but to keep the, the organization together and the unity, you know, we did that to make that sacrifice and come true. Wow, you know, it is a very interesting story because sometimes creation want, you see, most people kind of know how our creation, I don't know how most people deal with plenty, but how do you deal with nothing? That's really going to test your royalty and your dignity. Yeah, it's a joy, man. Because even when we're there, you know, I go through the situation now. Because everything burned down. We don't have no gas on them thing, you know. So we have to use wood fire. But the people in Jamaica, normally when some um, gas done, them start say, boy, I'm gas done in on them start call. And them forgot it's a tropical country. And when you go country, it's a wood fire light. So we need to get forward more in our roots and make that pass. Right. So we will go through the fire, we are light with we, we have to cook on wood fire and them thing the natural vibration and you know, cause we did have a fire light there and them thing. Which part the fire light, that side of the house don't touch all now. It don't burn all now. Cause even when the fireman them come them say, Yo, and the fire burned down those and some people show say, yeah, no light fire. So you not get fire then now. You know something? What I <laughs> Can I say I'm one of the people and I don't mean it in a negative way. Yeah. But I they hear them say fire for two still, you know? Yeah, man. So nothing no wrong with I want to say that some day. No, no, all right. Because as we make sure you say, mama, you know, um, we know, we know the nation, we depend on the nation building, you know. So the the ones our people around can't say anything for Earth and I because we don't know what really Lynch do to the nation. So when we are dealing with people who don't sing bash your neighbor right. or bash community or bash we deal with core. Right. You understand what I mean? You deal with what? The core of the problem. Okay. Anytime a, a situation comes for you, go forward to, to the core. So right. if some brother some brother kill my little brother or man to go be me can't have them. Sorry to hear. Yes. I have to go to the core. What instilled in the youth, them brain for come forward. They so. Right. so I take it deeper than even them come and go forward to the bigger killer. Them. You understand what I mean? Here, here. So it's a divine thing. So the fire we will go through is a strength for I and I, Mama. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're just going to ask yeah, Congo true. to tell you your experience. And then we're going to take a break. And we're going to go, we're going to go, we're going to go. I already call in the fire there, you know? Yeah, yeah, man. My experience of fire at that 10 city, you know? Because from the, from the fire at the tent, we have to bounce it, you know. For, and it even keep it together, you know, for all the roads, we can stay together. That was, that was what the fire meant for you? Yeah, man. To see how committed you know, really is. Yeah, man. If you stick together as one. My you know? goodness. And, 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 and you, you passed the test. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're still there, you know. Wow. We're going to take a break, and when we come forward, I want to talk about two things. The identity that the fire created within the music fraternity and the purification. So we're going to take a break. Open your world. So we're live inside of Studio B with the Uprising Roots Band. And we're talking about the fire. You mentioned, Akim, that um, or one of the bridges they mentioned that you never have nowhere to stay. Janine come with a tent. And you said something about fire, raging fire. Raging fire. Tell, us, tell us about that. Because actually, when I heard about the fire, it was an artist that it takes me right to and and the, 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 the energy that that artist was telling me that with was one of camaraderie and unity and togetherness and mama, just like Uno. It's like, like one of Uno. What did that tell you about camaraderie and the music fraternity? Or just fraternity? Them love way. Simple because it's that make really they know, you know. Trust me, what the love we get 
from the music fraternity, mama. Everybody does love. Everybody will come across surprising, just fall in love with the prize. Eh? Right. So it gives us all the strength to continue. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, man. Right. Yeah, man. Beautiful. Well said. And, you know, in the break, we're talking about just some of the, the things that happened as a re on the anniversary of the fire and uh, it, to the band that it was all good. Kush, tell me about the purification of the fire. Tell me about the spiritual implications are the spiritual significance in your mind of a fire like that and purification of fire yeah all right um uprising hq was a place where um you have like 15 people come on date and just pass through so when we are cooking at the school like because it's four core member right but when we share it's like 25 people and so right yeah but what did that happen? There was a lot of negative energy surrounding the thing too. You understand? It could be very dangerous too. You understand? So the fire, it burned with everything. You understand? In and out. You understand? And carried down to a level you now where if you're not rootical, you can't stand in another vibration. Right, right. Yeah, so understand? it ward off certain energy. Yes. Yeah. Got you loud and clear. Yes. You Got understand? you loud and clear. Because enough things that go on, but it's deeper than we will check. You understand me? But as I'm sure, Mama, we really give thanks to the fire because the unity was there before even the fire with I and I. And it even comes stronger now, you know. Right, we right. Know purpose, you know. I really, over there, I really love Patrice. I give thanks as their brother, you know. Right. In finance, right. Right. I love Akeem and I love Juno. I give thanks, give thanks to Darren. Oh, yeah. Give thanks to the production team, you know, oh, yeah. all our guests, oh, yeah. you know. Because you see, you know what I found? You see, when we, as a people, suffer together in whatever way, go through tribulation together, and overcome that hard for tear we apart, you know. Yeah, man, that's true, man. Hard for tear we apart. Yeah. All right. You see, before we're going to ask the band to do something live again, well, you know, something that I keep thinking to myself. The band speaks a lot about fire. Mm -hmm. Sky fire. You talk yes. and you burn a fire straight through. So, mm -hmm. in my mind, still, you know. Fire is a real entity, you know. Yes, I. So you see, Part if I have enemy. fire. And I hear you say you are represent me yes, and I fire me in him. Yes, me I go test if you can take your heat still, you know. Yes, sir. Because to me, if me a fire, remember, say if me a fire, fire no hot to me, you know. True. Yes, sir. True. You see what I say? So in a myself, me I go say, yeah, you know, say fire, 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 and me a fire, fire no hot to me, fire mm. to you. Yeah. I just said them one. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I say? Yes, ma'am. So, yeah, so, all right. We could do some live music now. Yeah, Uprising Roots Band, live inside the studio. So, this song we're playing now, coming from our upcoming album. I was going to call it Black Twilight Roots. And this track is a title track, are we?
Rising Roots Band in the Studio B of IRFM, Heart, Mind and Soul to Soul. It is now 29 minutes after 1 o'clock. Once again, I want to remind our listeners that they are between 1 and 2 p.m. on this Thursday is brought to you by Heineken. Heineken, open your world. Let me ask the man them something. Suppose I had never heard one sound from the Uprising Roots Band before. All right. We're going to take a break and then we'll come forward to that Christian scene. All right, cool. You mentioned um, the band, the other band there. Um, Raging Fire. Raging Fire. We now bring rain on nobody parade, but you see the kind of music that the Uprising Roots Band do, and th that other band, you, you kind of look for some elder. Well, real elder. You, 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 you will be the first one. Everybody know that. Yeah. Because you have some solid band, mama. You have, I could tell you, you even call that one a pentatusha, one next poor friend. All right. That, you know. All you right. Understand? And raging fire, the Doctonic crew. Yeah, man. So you have the C sharp around the CEO. Yeah, man. You have roots underground. Because we have to talk for the bands. Because everybody has right. an artist. I love that. But the band, they might rise up serious. I and love not that. Talk. I the bands, they might do well all over the world. Love that part yeah. of it. Yeah, Zinc Fence. Yeah, what Zinc Fence is like with Chronix. You understand? We talk about bands now. Band, band. Sure, band. Touring bands. Yeah, you talk about Doctonic crew, roots yeah, underground. Wait, well, yeah, when I hear the uprising roots band, you see? And, and, and some, of the, some of the others that you've called, right? I'm looking for elders. And for somebody like me, who they both long time, it warm my heart when I see said the item of youth. Because it tells me that the divinity of reggae is alive and well. Because you see that something the way you just talk about root rock, enough people not have that again. Yeah, that, that they not capture that anymore. Mama, mama, we use a pay attention serious. I'm gonna tell you all things up. Me that you was sitting at the studio, me get the production. But it's a Kush now, Kush sitting outside and read a lot and the research. Yes. Akin also do a whole thing. All than the internet I try for link with you. Right. And I link with all of you link with on the internet. Yeah, so I'm doing all the meditation see. But what come down, we come down to one conclusion. The music, we observe the music in Jamaica. We say, all right, you have mentor, and then basically kind of kill out mentor. You have skia. All these music are great music, you know. Right now, if you if you do mentor, you tour 
a Europe and all over the world on some different type of festival from where the regular reggae artists are go on. If you do mentor, like Twink, um, Jolly Boys right, right now. Right. And they work on some different type of show. They might do the regular. Right. right. Show them a France and all them places, right? Um, yeah, but again, Skia. Skia is a very great music again where powerful people don't know right now. We want to talk too much like I'm wanting to do a pro, do a, but we say, we're, yeah, we're, we're, we're cutting sharp, yeah. man. Yes, yeah, but, but you have, you have, you have, this, you have Skia again where people take on to all over the world again and reggae and then they come dance all now. So we see we are reggae. Dance I was about like, you know, the attention and reggae like I would not nobody body care on the roots fast fast go say this. So we decide so we'd pay attention to our roots and that's how right. the sound comes. Absolutely. In. And may we just use the opportunity also to just bless up the band them as you say. Yeah. Very important because that keep the music. Because enough of what no for why we did a lose that touch there because we are taking the music out of the music no. and the band then put it right forward. Yes, yes. All right, we're going to ask you know, quick, quick because we want to seal off with a tune. So we're going to ask each of you know, to tell me collectively and individually what you're looking forward to, what you're looking forward to personally and what you're looking forward to collectively. Akin. Yes, I. Well, through the word sound and power, you know. We're looking to touch the hearts and the minds of the people, them, you know, with the word sound, the celestial sounds of the Mosa, you know. So that is what we really are bringing forward, you know. Like we say, heat, air, and water, and land, you know. The elements are earth, so they stay grounded, you know. Rastafari. Yes, sir. Yeah, Black Kush, you know. Um, I have a message to each and everyone, you know. It's to touch. Everyone in a core, the center core of your soul, which is for eternity. You know, letting ones know that no matter what is going on, whether they have a bad day or what is going on, you can keep on the brighter side, the positive side, you know, and it's good to be alive. So, you know, don't let the system and things take away your lifetime because it's your lifetime. So that is the mission where I now bring for you, you know, ones can connect to them eternal core. Rastafari. Perfect. Yeah, man. Blessed love, you know. Brothers, them don't say all already, so what more we can add to it? Your, so, your you touch. Know, it's just spice, you know. It's just spice, spice. We all right, you say, all right, your spice and the music. Yes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, so, so, you know, we just want to say before you even, ah, uh, Patterize wants to say, yeah. All right. Mama. Yes, mama, we do this regular music to uplift people and all right. of that and carry on the king's work and thing. But straight forward, me want to feed my family straight forward. So this music I want me to do, I give thanks to Elise Kelly because sometimes you shock me in my mama straight up. I'm a major. When I sit down in my yard and light up my thing, I will amaze me. I said, but mama say Elise Kelly, she really love me because, you know, the, some power play I see you give me. I say, yes, mama. We don't, we don't come sit down and raise with you. We just like any other that normal artist. I say, you put it in the world. I give thanks to that because, trust me, we are so far. And we want to overcome this yes, separation. I love yeah. that. And it's a love program, yeah? That. I got help to shut the thing more. I bigger. got you. Just straight People up. Have, you know, let me tell you something, mama. People call from Europe. Booking agency call and distribution call from Europe. I tell you, say, yeah, we, we, you're not giving us an album again. We, we just hear this Kelly play it. We just, so that's what I talk about. I want to go feed my family. Yes. And that yes. means that my son and my mother and my granny may have a whole heap of people for feed. So you're saying you want material progress along with your spiritual yeah, progress? Yeah, why? Uh, thank you. Yeah. All right. I don't All right. talk. All right. We're going to seal Panda Note then because real talk. Because we're afraid to talk about when money as black people. We need to talk about that now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not right away. So hear what happened now. I'm just going to say to the Uprising Roots Band, this to me, is what makes reggae the king's music. And as far as I'm concerned, no matter how much fire, no matter how much suffering, on a future secure, as long as you keep it royal and divine the way you've been doing it. Beautiful to have you. Yes, Mama. Before I do this song, I want to bless up Winston Bopi, you know, guitarist of the Uprising Roots. Bless up Kimmy Gold and Solan, you know. Alex, big up the promotional team, Emily Newland, you know, Nanny, yeah, management, Darren Hamilton, you know, the whole works. Yes, sir. Yeah, man, so this song we're going to know is again from our upcoming album, right, Black Twilight Roots. And this song, we do it long time, I will see everything I come. Some of my songs don't right, they will see them I come, everything I come in place right now. This song is called My Can't Beat Right. I will see a whole heap of things I go on, mama. 
all over this world and not only Jamaica, from Jamaica to abroad, a bag of things are going. So this is all like a message now. Might can't be it, right? been responding to the interview but we have to put a, a we need help okay so um this one is from nubians she says i'm loving the vibes stuck in the office but feeling the fire nice to see the youth them holding the positive fire vibration heart of love and then we got this one now from ralston from twinkle brothers i don't know twinkle brothers California says, Sister Ellie's greetings to you and the RFM staff. Much love to the Uprising Roots Band. We met a few years ago in France and also in California. I'm also from Trelawney. Hail up Chinna Smith, my brother, Tony and Winston from Limit Christiana. Twinkle Brothers. <laughs> All right. Thanks for representing Twinkle Brothers. Give thanks to that. And then I got this one now from my sister. Now, my sister, let me see. Me tell you, my sister, them, them not normal, you know. You're my sister, Navli. Sis blessings, it's Navli. I still wear my slip. As long as I have on a skirt or a dress. Now nah, let me slip at all. The granny passed to another life. But I... <laughs> I trouble my you know. But I teach in live on. Not me, I'm wanting more of you asking. Which part you find sleep me by? She have them long time. So you, you just replace the elastic. Pardon you, me dear. What you mean? I got this one now from Sly. Sly Dunbar says, Hi, Queen. Always great to listen to Roots Uprising. Big up all the members, especially the drummer Kush. One of the tightest man around. Coming out of the great China school. Absolutely. No success for them. And that's coming from Sly. China, you need, your ear supposed to ring. And then we got this one now from Ancient Sima. And the Mama Warriors. Greetings, Mama. With our brethren in the Irish studio, this strong. It warms our heart to hear one of the reggae's finest uprising roots with quality and assurance. Some great youths who is always in Trenchtown. Love mama. You know, so the same thing that, you know, same thing we are talking about. That Trenchtown connection there. Alright, and we have more. Let, let's, let's, let, you know, I haven't heard
heard from Len Hammond in a long time. And Len Hammond just said, it says, bless up uprising, massive love and respect. We come a far way. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> and that's from Len Hammond. And then we got this one from Triple L, Kingston 12. Heal the king. Them love the works. Jano, give more than what him children can bear. But Purple Queen, as, you, as I said, you're the background. We are put up reggae music where it was blessed to, to. Hey, let me tell you something, you see. You see them youth here? Them are bring forward the thing. No, let me say bring forward the thing. I'm like, it gone now, you know. Because, no, me, 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 no, because, can just make that very clear. <laughs> make I make that very clear. We're not reviving nothing because nothing ain't dead. But what, what I'm loving is the ancient Oh, wrap up. Is the ancient within the within the youths. I love that. All right, we could it fast, fast now. Spanish tone youth, where you say now? Mama, see why I push for soul to soul for the pan podcast? Because I miss the whole of the reasoning today. The white people, them wouldn't tap chatting at the meeting. No, what's going to happen? No, you can't take them sometimes, Mr. Man. What last one? No, fast, fast, fast. Mama, soul to soul teaches so much. And I just want RFM to know that the listeners truly are impatient to hear and see the next edition each week when the souls are on center stage to speak and touch our souls. A platform like Easy Skanking and a powerful station like IRFM is a legacy we will all benefit from. Just want the band to continue the mission and the family energy that is keeping them together since it is so easy for people to pull apart instead of joining as a team for good. Uprising is the appropriate name, so true. And your journey is not surprising. Up, up, what you say? Up the uprising. All right, this is what we say so long. But you see, before we say so long, she ain't just bless her mooter for me. I met Muta. <laughs> Muta. Muta. Me say, you see the energy we wanna have from last night? It's still in the studio. It's still in the studio. You see it? The energy from last night. You notice them ask me, we wanna take down Masha picture. Me say, take down over picture, you mad. Me sweet, sweet sister. So she are up there, royal and beautiful. Last night's program was absolutely beautiful. And everyone had talked about it. So we just have benefit from the vibe, see? All right, so this is how we say so long. Once again, give thanks to you know, so the Uprising Band is here with us. All right, Certainly hope you enjoy the music that we played and the conversations that we had. I love you, my brother. I love you, my sister, whoever you are. Whether you worship in your church, kneel in your temple, or pray in your mosque. You and I are children of one faith. For the diverse paths of religion are fingers of the loving hand of one supreme being. A hand extended to all, offering completeness of spirit to all, eager to receive all. Father time, Mother Earth willing, we do it together again.